This is a sliding mesh gearbox that has five different settings for the effects of the output. Those being neutral, first gear, second gear, third gear, and reverse. The third gear setting has a ratio of one to one, the second gear setting a ratio of three to one, and first gear a ratio of six to one. The number to the left of the colon is how many rotations must be complete by the input in order to get the number of rotations equal to the number to the right of the colon in the output. So in the case of the first gear with a six to one ratio, six rotations would have to be complete in the input in order to get one rotation in the output. Now I'll show you how I found that ratio using this formula, which says that the ratio between two gears is the number of teeth on the output gear divided by the number of teeth on the input gear. We'll look at four gears here for simplicity, and I'll use letters to name all of them. Gear A, gear B, gear C, and gear D. These are the gears that are required for the first gear setting, if you haven't noticed. And we'll zoom in on gear A and B first. Gear A has 15 teeth and is the input gear since it's the source of power between the two. And gear B is the output gear with 45 teeth. The gear ratio will then be equal to 45 over 15, which will reduce to 3 over 1 or 3 to 1. So we'll say that the rotational speed of gear B is three times slower than that of gear A. So now let's zoom in on gear C and D. Gear C, the input between the two with 20 teeth and gear D, the output gear with 40 teeth. Plugging in the numbers gives a ratio of two to one. Let's zoom back out and recollect what we just said. Gear B has a rotational speed three times slower than the input. Since gear B and C are attached to the same shaft, they have the same rotational speed. So we know that the first reduced speed will be further reduced between gear C and D by a factor of two. So dividing the input speed by three, then by two, gives an output speed reduction of six. Therefore, the gear ratio between the input and output is six to one, proving what I said earlier to be true. Having talked about the math of the sliding mesh gearbox, that's all I got to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video, but more importantly learned. If you're new here, I'm glad to have you. My name is Aaron, and I study mechanical engineering, design models and mechanisms, print them, and then I go on to talk about them right here on YouTube. If that intrigues you, go watch another, and I will see you next time.